In this video, I will show you how to use different layouts with ASP.NET Web applications. So in this page, we are using the admin layout. If we go to the orders page, we are using the admin layout. But if we go to the home page, here we can see that we are using the default layout. So here I already created this web application that uses razor pages. So we have the pages folder and here we have the default layout file. So now let's create a new razor page. So in the pages folder, first let's create a new folder. Let's call it admin. Then let's create a new razor page in the admin folder. And let's call it dashboard.cshtml. Let's add the title of the page. So we can write dashboard. Then let's add a link to this page in the navbar. So let's go to the layout file. And here we have the navbar. So we can copy this UL element. Let's paste it here. Let's delete this bootstrap class. So like this, the two items will be displayed at the right and we need only one item. So we can delete the second item. Then here we can write dashboard. And let's provide the path of the page. So it is available in the admin folder and it is called dashboard.cshtml. So here we have to write dashboard. Let's run the application. So we obtain this page. We are using the navbar of the default layout file and we have this new item. Let's click on it. And here we have the dashboard page. Now I will show you how to create a new layout file and how to use it with this page. So I already prepared this file. Let's open it. And we obtain this page. So we need the navbar and the sidebar to be saved into a layout file. So let's copy the source code of this file. And let's create a new layout file. So let's create it in the shared folder. So here let's create a new item. And let's select Razor Layout. We can call it Admin Layout. Let's delete this code and let's paste the source code. Let's change the href. So here let's add slash. And here in the source, let's add slash at the beginning. Let's do the same thing here. And here as well. Then let's add the required files. So we need to add this folder. Let's copy it. And let's add it in the 3w root folder. So we can paste it here. Then let's copy the content of this CSS folder. So we need to copy this file. And let's paste it into the CSS folder. And let's do the same thing with this folder. So let's paste the files in the GS folder. Now let's move the content of this file to the dashboard file. So here we have the main element that contains this div and here we have the content of the file. So let's move this content. So let's cut this code. And here we will display the content of the different pages. So we have to call at render body. Let's go to the dashboard file. Let's delete this and let's paste the code. Now let's save all the files. So here we can see that the name is not the good name. I will just change the name of this file. And let's call it admin layout. So to use this layout file with this page, just here, 
we need to set the value of the layout property. So it is equal to the name of the layout file, which is underscore admin layout. Let's run the application. So in the home page, we have the default layout. And if we click on dashboard, we have the admin layout. Now let's create a new page that uses the admin layout. So let's create the orders page, for example. So we need to create it in the admin folder. And let's call it orders. Let's define the layout property so we can copy it from the dashboard file. We can copy it from here and let's paste it here. Then let's add the title of the page. So we can copy it from here and let's paste it. So here we can write orders. Let's run the application. Let's click on dashboard, then orders. And here we can see that this page is using the admin layout. And if we go to the home page, we have the default layout.